Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. This is the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick D. Bartolo. Episode 1380, recorded September 4th, 2012. Captain Leo. And now, get ready for Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Woo! Oh, whoa. Wow. I was dancing the whole time. Whoa, I saw it. Amazing. You know why? Now that I'm wearing this rubber bracelet that I got from a broccoli container, I am very conscious because I'm trying to make the fireworks go off on this thing. You know, I could review this today. Have Have we talked about the fuel band ever from Nike? I don't think uh, so. Uh, you know, we've talked about it on other shows before you buy and stuff, but I, I've been wearing this, and I could talk a little bit about it. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Gizwiz. This is the show where we uh, talk about uh, gadgets, right? Yeah, absolutely. With Dickie D, the Mad Magazine's maddest writer for the last four yep. decades. And you see he's a captain. He's got a captain's cap. Oh, yeah, in the back. Absolutely. Do you wear that Ahoy on the boat? matey. I know how to say nautical things. <laughs> um, I do, too. Bass, Ready? She land lover. <laughs> nautical things. Uh, no, do you wear that on the boat, or is that just for decor? That's just for laughs. No, <laughs> no. You know what, I, I, Leo? When I go boating, I carry that with me. And if it's like a windy, bad day and I crash into the dock, I just give it to one of my guests and say, <laughs> why don't you just wear this when oh, you step Oh, captain, off? my captain. And, go, <laughs> <laughs> and when they get off, I, behind them, I just go, him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a captain. I actually saw somebody, because, you know, I, I, I live by the Turning Basin. We have, Oh, yeah, it's the world-famous Turning Basin. It's called the Petaluma River. It's not a river. It's a slough. It's a tidal slough. But nobody would move to Petaluma if they said, hey, Petaluma, we're the home of the tidal slough. So we call it the Petaluma River. And people come up in their boats for the weekend because and they they, they dock dock at the turning basin. And my my apartment overlooks the turning basin. It's beautiful. But I saw a guy piloting a big, long sailboat, beautiful sailboat. He's got the and he's wearing exactly that cap. And I thought, what does he think he is? You know, uh, the captain of the minnow? I mean, what? <laughs> do, so, But some people apparently do think they should wear captain's caps. Yeah, especially, it's strangely enough, sailors, I think, are way more into dress. Sailors, uh, like oh, yes. people who sail sailboats. It's people who sail, yes. You know, I uh, yes, yes, yes. I rest my case. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, this old thing? Oh, I've had this for years. <laughs> This is actually. Well, you're the captain of the technical ship. I am. If, the, if, the if this if this brick house ever sinks, I'm going down with it. Yeah, you are, pal. You bet. You you bet. In fact, I'm going to have a band play nearer my god to the out in the lobby. It'll be fantastic. I would hire them really soon. <laughs> <laughs> Start practicing now, boys. So we have three gadgets. Dick will present three gadgets have, for yes, you. That's right. And and something new today. I have a gadget. That is in 3D. So when I talk about it, you're going to feel like the gadget is like there with you. Ooh. It is probably it is probably the first netcast with 3D embedded technology. Oh, thank goodness! Because we yeah, really third... we need something to distinguish us from all the other uh, crappy gadget podcasts that are out there. There are others. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was, I was. No, I, but don't forget our slogan: "We're the crappiest of them all." There's no one crappier 
than the Gizwiz. That's we're pr- and mighty proud of that. Yeah, yeah. damn proud. Sir. And then and then I will now. I have to apologize because uh, the winning uh, crap we bought from Sky Mall gadget for this week was a gong, which is lost in the mails. I don't know where it is. It was. It, they said it'll. It could. Oh, you oh, found it. Yeah, I found, found it. it. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> They said it could arrive any time between now and Friday. Oh, okay, good. So, but it, apparently now is not now. So, no, okay. no gong. But next week the gong. The week after okay. that we'll do the iPad, the Seal Shield iPad. I'm putting okay. that off as long as possible because the last time I dunked an iPhone in water, it didn't work out so well. And I know that in order to test the Seal Shield for the iPad, I'm going to have to put it on my iPad and dunk it in water. Wait, you don't have someone on the staff with an iPad who would have to give it to you since oh, you're the Liz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, No, I'll be doing it. I'll be doing my own iPad. I, okay. But, 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 but we have the image here of the Seal Shield. Uh, this is from Amazon. Sometimes I order from Amazon because it comes faster. I think that should protect it against water. No problem. Oh, yeah. You know, I it didn't realize like, it. I yeah. must have a Seal Shield, too. <laughs> yeah, it, looks like a, that. <laughs> it kind of looks like a cardboard box. Yeah, that ah, is so funny. It looks like they sprayed it. Bl- you know what, Leo? It's sprayed black, so oh, that must be the, that's the, that's protect- the protective quality right there. Duct tape not provided, so you you have to seal it up, and then I don't know. Anyway, we'll get that, and we are going to have. I have other uh, time wasters, like another three gadgets from Sky Mall that you can vote on and decide what you want me to review. So we've got two coming up, but we won't have one this week because. <laughs> when we started this, I thought I'd be doing it the next week after the vote. And then it takes, t- apparently, in many cases, as much as 10 business days for stuff from, to arrive from Sky Mall. So then we said, well, we'll do it two weeks after the vote. Uh, now we're at three weeks after the vote, and who knows how much longer this could go on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is good. This is good. If you order crap from Sky Mall, you should just be order it before your need arises. Yes. In other words, if you want to give something from Sky Mall for Christmas, Too tomorrow late. is the deadline. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. All right, Dick, let's start off with your gadget number one. Okay, gadget number one. You know, I know you were talking about the 84-inch TV, and you're always talking about the magnificent big TVs. So I was searching for the littlest TV I could find yes. to use in my kitchen. So it didn't have to actually be a TV. I wanted a really tiny monitor so that I could just run the cable from the living room TV into this monitor. And then when I'm in there just getting something out of the refrigerator, could keep track of what is going on. So I went to Amazon and I found a little seven inch TV uh, from a company called Prism. Now, this is seven inches. Seven inch. <clears throat> Look, so it this comes is, with my uh, Christmas card from two years ago on it. That's nice. Yeah, that is, that's amazing. That's why I bought it when I saw that picture on Amazon Prime. So it's a seven inch TV. It comes with an AC adapter. Comes with a twelve volt adapter. Comes with a little monopole. It does get digital signals. But the reason I bought it is it has audio video in, and. What's interesting about this, Leo, it also has a tripod bracket on the bottom. And among many of the reviews on Amazon, most very favorable, people are buying this to use them as monitors for their camcorders. Oh, that's a good idea. You could actually mount it small enough to mount on top it's of the It's small camcorder. enough to mount. Uh, that's a good with, idea. Seven inches. Yeah. yeah. Comes with remote, remote control. And Leo, 52 bucks. Yeah. And it, it is on is it Amazon. Is high def, Dick? No, no. I, I tell you, I have... <laughs> what kind of def is it, Dick? <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you. It's 480 by 234. Oh, my gosh. That's an old... Sc- that's like old school TV. That's like, a, you know, a Grundig yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But it's 16 by 9. But, you know, I don't... This is the kind of TV you don't sit and watch the Olympics on it. it. It's for, you know, like people using it for a quickie monitor when you're shooting video. Me, it hangs up in the kitchen. And uh, I made it so that when I'm in the bathroom, I can also see it. So for my needs, it w- it's really good. And again, for 52 wait, wait bucks. A minute. Oh. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I just, you just said something that kind of uh, concerns me. Yes. You, can, you, you can see the kitchen from the bathroom or the bathroom's in the kitchen. No. Oh, Leah, what are you kidding? It's totally two different rooms. There's a oh. little 
cur- curtain <laughs> between a curtain. Them. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> is it, it just like a beaded curtain or something that just kind of separates? Oh, yeah, no, that's yeah, a beaded For privacy, curtain. yeah. For privacy, yeah. But you and, can and see, it, but you can see yeah. this seven-inch display that's in your kitchen. You could see it from the bathroom. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Leo, I live in New York City, Okay. <laughs> Leo, I have what's in my living room. My neighbors call it the television wall. Yeah, it's yeah. a 37 inch set. <laughs> it's a wall. It's a wall. It's, it's so just... high def, it fills the whole room. Uh, yeah, it just touches the corner of my living room. <laughs> so, yeah. So. <laughs> um, Is so your bathroom prison... bigger than the bathroom on the 787 Dreamliner or smaller? Uh, touch. <laughs> Just a touch. Well, I mean, you know, I really can't say because I hope to go on uh, the United uh, Dreamliner. Um, this is exciting. Soon, in this November. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. So, very excited. so just to explain, this is uh, this is the newest Boeing uh, aircraft, uh, and it's uh, is it re- is it really big? Is that the yes, idea? It, you know, it, it's it's two aisles. So I believe first class has thirty eight full lay down flat bed sleeper seats. It, this is a big airplane, and United's going to have it. It's mainly going to be for international long haul flights, but they're going to run it for one month in domestic uh, situations, wow. so that flight crews and and the uh, uh, in flight people can learn where everything is. But you can actually book flights for that one month. So I hopefully I'm going to come out and do the show live on November 27th uh, if I can nail down a ticket. And and the reason the airlines like this is that the um the it's a it's carbon fiber, right? It's not it's not metal. Yes. It's very very yeah. light. So it's very yeah. fuel efficient. Oh, you know what? I'm so glad you said that. I I kept telling people it was carbon paper. <laughs> and they said, "Wow, it must be light." <laughs> Uh, well, I think that, I think the theory is if the plane augers into the ground, it doesn't really matter if it's metal, carbon fiber, carbon paper. You're dead meat anyway, right? Well, possibly, possibly. I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to watching you fly in this. Oh, okay, good. I'm looking forward to you spending 14 hours in coach going. To, <laughs> where, where are you hey, going? at least I'm in a metal airplane, buddy boy. <laughs> Yeah, At least okay. there's metal around me as I fly three miles or seven mm-hmm. miles high, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we're yeah. going to... What is the thickness of that metal? I don't know. It's tinfoil. I don't know. Yeah, I was matter. just going to say, it's made by... <laughs> your plane was made by Alcoa. Yeah. No, they say this carbon fiber, actually, in, in all honesty, yes, it is, is so strong. It's actually stronger than uh, than metal. But it is very yeah. light. It doesn't have metal fatigue, which is an issue sometimes, I think, on, uh, on well, these planes. The, you know, the wings, after flapping for a while, they just break right off. Yeah. So this this they don't have that problem on this. This is the new thing, carbon fiber, pal. Yeah, um, I'm excited because uh, I I want to I want to see how this uh, airplane is. So you may be coming out to visit us at the end of November. On the end, of, yeah, I, I'm going to see if I can uh, swap my ticket around okay. and do the show live November 27th. Ju- and uh, uh, yeah, because I'm, we're going to be in Australia for a f- couple of weeks before that, and then. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to say this. Paris the week after that. So if you could just, if you just could come out, we'd like. We're going to reposition the yacht. We've got it in right now. We've got it in New Zealand. We're going to reposition it uh, uh, to the French Riviera. So if you could just make an attempt to visit us sometime in in the short period, we'll be back here. That would be much appreciated, Dick. Oh, fine. Well, I'll meet you at the turning base. Oh, I think we'll business. be there in my yacht. I do have the hat. Actually, this is a uh, this is a Coast that, Guard. That, that, that's a real hat. This right? is a real Coast Guard chief's hat. Yeah. Um, which strangely I, enough, I was in the cottage when that gentleman came to visit. Were you? Me. Yeah. Coast yeah, a Coast yeah. Guard uh, uh, guy gave me this. He was a chief. He's a chief. I don't know. Maybe after he gave it <laughs> his hat, he's not. But uh, isn't that <laughs> nice? That's a nice. I feel like I should have a boat. You know to go what? With I this. think you look good in it. I think you should wear that on the airplane too. <laughs> <laughs> you might get a little more respect. I think I'm I'm on my way to reposition the yacht. I'm flying economy not because I have to, because I want to. I want to be with you, the little people. That's what I'll say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's perfect. People will love you for that. In fact, I'm sitting in the middle seat by choice. It's <laughs> it's worth. Oh, so you already uh, so you, oh, you already know your seat. Okay. Lisa was so worried that you're going to be. Concern. Yeah, she, yeah. Was, she's got the aisle. 
Her son Michael has the window seat. So guess who's in the middle seat? I am. And I'm going to have that big pillow. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so they are not moving. There you go. And I have another device for you. We may have another device for mm. your back. Oh, from now on, we'll I think we should only that. review uh, devices designed to make long airplane trips more palatable. You know, support oh, hose. Okay. For the, at least for the, mm. um, how long before you go? Uh, November 6th, I think, or 5th. We're flying okay, out. so you have all of September, all of October to Two find months. good gadgets for in-flight. Yeah, I'm sure Sky Mall has, will be loaded with that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when you get off that 14-hour flight in coach in the middle seat, oh, I'll lend you the cane holder because you'll need a cane to exit that flight. Well, you know, they told me they don't have lie flat seats. They have lie upright seats. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'll be very wow. comfortable. Oh, the new technology. <laughs> the, nice. the new lie upright seats. That way the blood doesn't rush to your head. It just, it just stay pooled in your butt where it belongs. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Old blood butt <laughs> will, will be hosting. Lisa said that the middle seat's better because I get two armrests. Oh, uh, yeah. Lots of luck with that. <laughs> you know what? I would, just in case they're hogging it, I would also bring two armrests. <laughs> just just my, bring your own. Bring my own. Bring hey, I bet own. they have that on Sky Mall. Portable uh, armrests for those. Yeah, that... inflatable armrests. <laughs> That's good. If I lose about 80 pounds, I might be able to fit in. Gadget number two, Dickie. Okay, gadget number two, you've been shopping Sky Mall for the high-priced gadget. I've been shopping the as-seen-on-TV gadgets, and I got the first one yesterday, Ooh. just in time. Well, as actually, I got it on TV. Saturday. Yesterday yep. was a holiday. Yep. But I got to use it yesterday, and uh, it's called the One-Touch Can Opener, and this is exactly how it works. Mm. The Key Bartolo Man's Madness Try to end the Gizwiz with this week's Gizwiz One Take Theater video on Twit. You know, I am running so late. It's Labor Day as we're recording this. I have a bunch of people in the backyard for a backyard picnic. I just got in. I have all these cans to open, uh, but I'm not worrying about it, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But in case you live outside of New York City, uh, I thought I'd show you something. So, a can of sauerkraut? <laughs> Buck ninety nine. Okay. Okay. I know yeah. you're saying, oh, I only pay seventy nine cents. Okay. Uh, B and M baked beans. Buck ninety nine. I'm assuming uh, these are high prices. Van camps. No price. That's I'm priceless. assuming that you're having a sauerkraut um, and baked bean Alpo party. <laughs> Prime slices. Oh, at least you're serving our guests uh, some meat. Sixty nine. You know. <laughs> I was serving this for five weeks before I realized Alpo Prime Slices is dog food. You know, wait a minute. But pause that. Pause know, that. So pause that. Because I, I have some Alpo at home. I looked everywhere on the can. Nowhere on that can does that say dog food. Nowhere. Look. Oh, so I wasn't, I wasn't remiss in serving it to my guests. They Thank used, you, Leo. Did, I just needed an excuse. Did they not used to say Alpo dog food? They don't yes, say it anymore. Yes. And yeah. I don't understand why not. I, it is, it's not, I mean, you, you could easily accidentally purchase this and eat it as a human, but it's not. It's dog food, right? Yeah, well, it is now, now that I know. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I thought this is the weirdest thing. I bought a can for Ozzy, and I'm looking. I know, Does Ozzy love it? By the way, my dogs love it. And also, is it not very appealing when you open the can? It it's smells like, stuff. it's got, it's like stew with gravy, and it looks yeah. like human food. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe that's how they're opening up their, their marketing, well, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're it's like, like well, humans would probably eat it if they didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> they, you know what? Uh, after, after Alpo sees this, look for that rebranding in the regular section of your supermarket. Chef Alpo's. I'm new. telling you, this, uh, that's how you know the economy's bad. They've taken the words dog food off the Alpo cans. That's not oh, a good sign. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, interesting. Anyway. But at, at a buck ninety nine, who can afford Alpo? I'm going back to sauerkraut. Okay. Was it, what actually curiosity was the Alpo more expensive than the uh, no the Alpo was one sixty nine sauerkraut was one ninety nine I rest my case all right yeah, I'm sorry no, you, you may you okay. may continue the 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 presentation the I presentation know, I'm sorry, serving thank it you. again tonight they always say what is how did you get that 
taste. And I said, that's a, it's a family secret <laughs> recipe. And it is a secret from them anyway. Okay, so why am I not worried? I have the one touch oh, can dear. opener, hands free. Hands free, and, except you know, you for that touch. You probably can't see all the way down here. But the it's uh, total. one touch can opener is total yomatic. <laughs> And because they took the word, the Y off the word total, and they put it Those on automatic. Those spaces are so okay. unruly, I tell you. Just place on can. It'll walk around the can and shut off automatically. And how do we know it's good? We know it's good because it's as seen on TV. TV. That it's automatically like FCC approved it's in a way. In a okay, way. Okay, so we're going to open sauerkraut first. So we put it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wait a minute. That's cool. So it really is hands-free. Just all right. We'll put it on. <laughs> it says lay it up against the lid. Oh, they and... need to be carbon fiber cans. All right. That's Doesn't the like problem that right can. there. So we'll now open the baked beans. Just lay it you on the edge. You have fresh batteries in there. Oh, I. I, I, I even there like it the... goes. There it goes. Look at. Walking. <laughs> walking. It's trying. Hard work. Desperately. Not easy being a hands-free <laughs> can opener. In this day and age. <laughs> and my guess, they'll be fine. An hour really later. We more cans to open. It's zipping around the can. <laughs> trying desperately. Warm. <laughs> this is two brand new AA batteries that I put on a battery tester. Took them out of the Doracell pack. It's still going. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's yeah. persistent, little hey, devil. Hey, will be on in a minute. <laughs> and, yeah. Pretty amazing. And it says, don't worry, it stops automatically. <laughs> I think it stops when it burns out. Wow. Now, you know what? Okay, oh. okay. It's feeling. It's going to take a little victory lap. It's, it's okay. Stopping. No, it's stopping. It's feeling good. It's not. It's oh, feeling it good. That's automatically. very funny. Yeah. Well, what was that? Three minutes to open a can? <laughs> hey, it worked, though. And it's the uh, right... It's almost. The, it, it, oh. You have to just break off the metal for yeah. the rest of it. Well, that's all right. That's... Did open the can. And it's... Okay, it, that... you know what? I'll tell you something. They say no sharp edges. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you really can't see that. But that is... And I'll tell you the truth. We opened a can of dog food earlier. <laughs> can you see the edges on this can? Oh, no, sharp no sharp edges. edges. Whoa! Uh, anyway, I'll just tell you though, lots of reviews on Amazon, mostly negative, but my, my favorite review, a man wrote in and he said, I bought this for my wife because she has very weak hands. She used it once and her hands were strong enough to throw it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Um, cheapest I've seen it is 13 bucks. It mostly sells for up to 30 bucks on Amazon. Uh, wow. It's a one touch yeah, can I opener. Know. Unbelievable. That's um, a rip off. As you can see, I, I can see why the one person, another review I read says that it just eats batteries. Um, because that's only the second can it opened, and it is working those uh, two double A batteries. Uh, so that's it. The one touch can opener as seen on TV and somebody else who is seen on TV, the Gizwiz, Dick Bartolo and Man's Maddest Writer here on Twit with this week's Gizwiz video. It's coming. I have 10 more cans to open. <laughs> I like it because you see Dennis, your camera operator yes. in, the, in the mirror there. <laughs> He's very yeah. patient. He just, he does, and you know, I don't know how he keeps from jiggling when he's la you know, laughing. He's, yeah, I know. He does. Yeah. Yeah. I've and upgraded the, uh, by the way, I've upgraded the yacht. Oh, my for word. an aircraft carrier. Oh. Gosh. Actually, you know, you have destroyer. all the clothing. You just need a yacht. <laughs> all I need is a boat, and I'm ready to go. Uh, all right. That was, that's a good, I'm glad you reviewed that because I was, I uh, was about ready to buy it. Only $13.99 in stock. Uh, and actually, you can get it from a place called As Seen on TV Products. Yes, exactly. So, there you go. Exactly. It is, though, you know, they're not lying. It does open cans. It is. It doesn't need your hands once you put it on there. No, you're right. You're right. Do you but use you know, a it mechanical but it also or... says opens in seconds. Mm. Well, well, 180 right. seconds. Seconds. Yeah. seconds. 300 seconds yeah. is... That's seconds. Yeah, yeah it's seconds. Uh, nobody wants seconds, uh, but other than that... Uh, do you use an electric can opener or do you use a hand can opener? I use an electric can opener. You do? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a little GE thing that you put the can in, lock it in, and it you know it opens it in a, you know like eight seconds. You know, see, I feel like that. That's um, I, I, a I, cheat. I, no, I feel like a hand. You, it's mechanic. It seems like it's an easy. You just turn the knob, and the thing goes. I guess it just I don't understand an electric can opener. To be honest, it seems like a kind of a waste. You just oh. turn the knob. Well, mine, mine's digital, and at every moment it tells you how much <laughs> pressure it's putting on the can. <laughs> by by the way. Help? Out of, curio out of curiosity, yes. uh, uh, how many cans these days do you open? Do you open a lot of cans? Uh, let's see, dog food, maybe one a day. Okay, dog food. No, I don't open a lot of cans. Used to be we'd use a lot of cans, right? I yeah. haven't opened no, a can actually, in ages. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what? Also, that can of Alpo, yeah? it has the snap-off can lid. So right. most cans, most cans most now cans don't up, have up to, to be open. 16 ounces yeah. have the... Yeah, they have a peel off lid. Hey, yeah, I should. So I, by the way, I should thank the guy who gave me this. He is a volunteer on the USS Iowa, which is a historical um, uh, museum. This World War II vintage, I, I believe, is a destroyer actually. And uh, he is uh, on the. Uh, he is actually, I think, one of the engineers keeps the engines going. And he brought me this. So this, that's the USS. Oh, Iowa. that's good. Isn't that great? Good, yeah. yeah. You know that might be for sale. The Iowa. Yeah. You know, you I know, was Leo, sad. You could get all the. Stu you could get the studio equipment on there. I, you know, then we could be like a, we could B be like could pirate wire radio. That thing. We could be uh, we could be it's it's uh, it's uh, the Iowa is uh, on uh, display in the Los Angeles area. If you'd be interested, the world's greatest naval ship uh, for over fifty years, she served in the uh, U.S. Navy. So, if you want to know hmm. more, it's uh, PacificBattleship dot com. You can find out about the Iowa and uh, go visit. Uh, but that that is something for uh, kids to see. Those big guns on there were quite valuable during the Second World War. Nice. So now, <clears throat> so this is gadget number three. This is going to be the three D thing. Three D gadget. We've never done three this before. No, we've never done this before. Okay. So now, uh, you know, do you have three D specs? If not, just put your hands like this. Okay. There you go. Okay. And now I'm introducing Dan McDonnelly, inventor. Of the Ninja Standing Desk. Okay, I'm looking, I'm watching. Yes, yes, and he's putting on his robe now. Okay, I don't <laughs> see him yet. Turn, but... Yeah, no, no, he's turning, it's the wrong way, Leo. What? Turn the other way. What? No, not, not. Ah! Face. He snuck up. He, this boy, that's a very realistic effect. It looks like he's yeah. right, he's yeah. standing right there. I could almost. It's amazing what they do with computers <laughs> these days. Hey, Dan, good to see you. Good to you. Thank so you. So this is a Kickstarter project. It is, yes. Uh, we launched on Kickstarter about in the middle of, uh, of July and did it for about a month. And we raised about $33,419. Had you ever yep. done a product before? I haven't, actually. I've run a lot of different uh, internet businesses before, mostly informational products or, you know, coaching, things like that, but never um, an actual product. So. How did this come about? You had the idea and then said, how are we going to get this made? Well, so um, I became a standing desk advocate. I, that's, I mean, the, that's where you stand up. You don't sit absolutely. down. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I stand up. A lot I mean, of people love these. It's amazing. And for me, it changed my life because it, it really, it fixed my back. Uh -huh. I was having all sorts of issues with like this weird numbness in my elbow and sciatica pain and everything. And I found that um, I just couldn't. Whatever I did with the right like keyboard trays and everything, I couldn't get my ergonomics to be the right spot. So I started using a standing desk. Now you can buy yep. regular desks that are high. Absolutely. But uh, this is a this is a novel way to do it. Well, what I took even further is after using the standing desk for for about a year, I realized I want to go travel the world. I want to do other things and. And these standing discs are big. I mean, you kind of have a standing disc. They're not too like portable, this. are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and there's still some issues with it. They're not like two levels. You, so even right. once you buy your standards, you have to build something else to right. bring your monitor up right, for it, right? Right, right, So I invented the Ninja standing desk. It's so you made little... this up, and then yep. you said, how do I make it? Yep. And, and Kickstarter is a way you can go to a website, kickstarter.com, and say you make a video. Is it, It's probably yeah. still on uh, Kickstarter, right? It still is on Kickstarter, the Ninja Standing you raise there. Once you raise enough money, and I've donated a lot of money to Kickstarter, so I kind of know how this works. Uh, uh, people can uh, buy in, and I presume that if they bought it at a certain level, they'd get, the, they'd get a, 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 a desk once you made it. There we it. go. Yep. There it is. There, they've got it right Look there. Look at that. And, there's, yep. and so you make a video, which is kind of important. How did you make that video? Uh, all using my own MacBook at home, the, uh, the one you'll cool. see here in just cool. a few minutes as I put it up on and the desk. Did you, and did you, um, 
Uh, was it just you, or do you have other people involved? Is I've had lots of help, um, but it is uh, primarily my project. How, now, and I think a lot of people would like to do a Kickstarter project. How do you get people aware of your Kickstarter project? Because you got That's 279 backers. That is the secret. I mean, uh, Kickstarter, everyone thinks it's just free money, There's right? There's thousands of... It, you just put your thing on and you make thousands of dollars right. on Kickstarter, right? right? That's what you think. But um, we had actually, you know, very little press throughout our our Kickstarter. We had very little uh, attention on it. And so most of it was the marketing that I had to do, which was um, getting up a website. We showed at the Maker Faire. Um, oh, here. that's cool. Yep. And we had a lot of, got a lot of people on our mailing list. And, uh, you know, we, we did all the social networks and everything there, just trying to get the word out about the product. But it really, out of all the stuff I've ever done on the internet or businesses, this one really has had such an amazing response from people who just see it and they're like, that's what I need. I mean, this is not a product for everybody. Not everybody's going to want to stand up and work, and I understand that. Right. But for those of us who would like to improve our health, be better ergonomically, and also improve our focus and motivation, a standing desk it really is an amazing so product. So you uh, decided that you wanted $10,000. Where did that yeah. number come from? So in general, I mean, with manufacturing, you have to do a certain run of products right. to be able to get a price So that you investigated works. all of that? Yep. So I did all the, again, you know, just throw something up on Kickstarter. I called and researched. I did, I even um, funded all my prototypes and started with that. So you spent money uh, of your own before oh, you even absolutely. went to Kickstarter. You know, yeah. quite How a much bit. have you spent so far? Um, I'm probably right around the ten or fifteen thousand dollars of you know between the prototype and already starting to invest, and I'll probably spend about another ten thousand wow. once I'm. But you got enough done. backers and raised thirty three thousand four hundred nineteen dollars. Yep. So yep. you got more three times more uh, than you had asked for. Exactly. Yep. And uh, are you sewing these yourself? Well, that's where <laughs> that's the tech shop. Actually, you can see the the that video. Showing, um, that's where I that's the amazing prototype. community of, of inventors yeah. and people there, yeah. and so that that was me making the prototype, and and uh, and, really and I do cool. I, I still have a couple more just little tweaks to but do. But this is the production so, version. Yeah, so this is the the Dick, production have you version seen right this here. yet? Is this? Uh, I have not yep. seen. It. I, I I watched his video and I saw it online, but I've not yep. seen it. You guys are actually uh, the it, first to ever see the actual. I'm going to stand oh, back. Right. It's going. It's I'm going to stand back so, and let uh, Dan McCon McDonnelly uh, show us. This is the Ninja. This is the Ninja standing, standing desk. desk. Have you so, sent these out to the backers yet? Are they getting the, this? This is coming out this month, actually. Okay. They're, they're, the early bird backers are getting them this month. Okay. So you take on any wall or door. A lot of people say, uh, you know, well, what if you don't have a door? Um, it goes right into any drywall as well. We've got these great little got um, hangers. You know, little yeah. hardware that just go right got into it. drywall yeah. and it sticks but and it holds up 80 but pounds. But if you're traveling, you can always a hotel door or a closet, closet door, door you can anything put that like on. that. Yeah. Yep. And uh, the the whole these are just two shelves. They slide together just like this. Yeah. Now, are those the, the aluminum rods? Is that what we're seeing? Those are the aluminum rods that just sli slid through. Yep. And then and this all fits in a case about the size of a laptop. Exactly. Case. In fact, I've got my laptop in there, and I have. Oh, um, so that's great. So it is a case. For, yep. That fits a laptop as well as your desk. Exactly. Now you're using Velcro to attach it, so it could be at any height along these straps that are hanging. That's the idea. It's, okay. it's micro adjustable, meaning that you can tweak it very, very small amounts, which is really important when you're setting up something for ergonomics, because even a centimeter can really make a big difference whether, you know, the way your head tilts, the way... So this um, is this is eye, this is for the screen, yep. so this is what you would want as eye level to the screen. Yep, so I'm setting this up so that my laptop will be right on there, and it'll be about, I'm looking for right about two inches between where my eye level is, okay. right, right at the top okay. there. So that's the first, the first so step. Shelf number one, which that's is shelf number one attached for, by a Velcro to the back strap yep. and the front strap for people and listening. And Dan, uh, how, how much can the monitor weigh? The up to well, we've I've actually sat on this thing about two hundred pounds, you know, about a hundred and fifty pounds before it, it actually not attached broke. to this blackboard. Not no, the blackboard. Uh, blackboard uh, the solid the, door the that the would issue. work. Yeah, I think but, the blackboard um, would go it, first. I rate it to about thirty pounds, which is about the size of a large MacBook Pro or a large uh, iMac. Um, okay. It's really designed wow, for a laptop, iPad. but it can easily hold a large monitor. Wow. Um, why, why don't you go get me that dull? Dell, let's see if we can put that on here. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You think it's too heavy? Yeah. And so this one I set up at about where my arms so this are is about for the keyboard. Degrees. This is for the keyboard. So that you want your arms, at an, at, for ergonomics, you always yep. want it kind of a per, a, 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 an L shape for exactly. your arms. Yeah. Yep. I, could, I could figure this and out. Then, you, you strap this through here. There. So they get the Velcro out first. Oh, oh, oh. It, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Got to get the strap because we've got to yep. attach it. This isn't too hard, Dick. I, no, it, you could probably do this in about now. 30 seconds. 
You want to make that tight, right? Yep. yep. And then I just kind of stick it back to the back little Velcro there. You have a knack for yep. this, Leo. I, I think... I have I a... Think jo- I could... Yep. This is yep. good. I could do this for a living. All right. And you may have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. And then here's the last... The, the keyboard... Keyboard right and here. look at that! Look at that! We've and got a standing desk. Nice. And I'm just gonna go. Hey, you know this is kind of good. Yeah. I like. So, this. what does this cost, uh, Dan? So right now, um, it, it went on Kickstarter for about 147. We're still finalizing our retail price, but it'll be uh, with shipping and handling right around 150. And you get the laptop case to go along with it, so you can carry the desk. The laptop there, and you're all set. Yep. Wow, that's and nice. it, it weighs about um, just under four pounds for just the uh, the well, two shelves. The other thing is we also have, um, you can add a third shelf, and so you can make it a sit and stand desk. You just bring another chair up, and you move everything down one shelf, ah. and so you can actually sit down and stand. Because a lot of people, I mean, like, this is a, a standing desk, basically. Right. It's a, a standing. Um, and they cost thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really, oh, yeah. really expensive. And so I want I've something actually looked that, into it because I want a standing desk. But this you can right. travel with, which is And really you can cool. travel with it. And it's, it's sturdy enough that you can use it every day for a regular desk um, on, a, on anything. So. Kickstarter is really interesting. I mean, it really is a success story. I mean, there's so many Kickstarter projects. I've invested in more than eight, none of which have delivered anything, except for the Joey bra. I did get a bra <laughs> with a packet, with a little uh, pocket for your iPhone. And I'm actually wearing and it right now. And you look great in it. Really. No, I think it's I, good. Yeah, it's oh, slimming, no, yeah. slimming as well as uh, at CES. Practical. It was the it was the talk of CES. Yeah, but there's a lot of other stuff. Because so you're not an investor. Nobody gets a piece of the Ninja Standing Desk Company. No, but they they if but they, they get a standing they desk a standing if they desk. donated enough. Or money. they also one of the the other fun. Um, they get a sticker. Things, or they, we have these really cool Ninja throwing Star stars That's magnets. Good. Oh, oh, the little yeah. little magnet. Here, let's just stick, it looks like stand right there, John. Looks like it's. Stuck in a uh, refrigerator. <laughs> oh, that's you know? cute. Oh, yeah, this is the magnet right part. Here. Yeah. Or yeah, you know. look at that. It looks like somebody threw a ninja throwing star at your refrigerator. That's exactly. Good. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Actually, what? That's kind of cool. I'd give you money yeah, for that. That's clever. So, that was one of our lower lower level backers. Right. You have to do that, don't you? You Absolutely. have to have five dollar, ten dollar, because you want to encourage people to give small amounts of yeah, money. Because as well. you're, there are a lot of people who don't necessarily want a standing desk. Right. And, and but. You want to be able. They to might want to give some, you money. They want to help, you know, friends, family, think, people right. like the idea, right. all of that. So, That's cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Dan McDonnelly. He's uh, now in production. You think you're going to have a business out of this? Absolutely. I mean, these are um, already people have been hounding me to, to, to buy them and buy them early, so I, I can't get them out the at, produced quick enough. NinjaStandingDesk.com. Are you? Yep. Where, where do you produce it? In China? Where do you? Actually, all right here in the Bay Area at the moment. Really? So yep. there's people who can make this kind yep. of stuff. Yep, it's uh, sewn right over in uh, in in Oakland. That's neat. Yep, locally produced. And they're like available it. now, Dan. They are still in production. Um, the final uh, the the final desks from the Kickstarter will come out uh, hopefully the end of October, but the, it's shipped for November, and so they'll be available yep. right around November, right before Christmas. Awesome. Perfect. Yep. Dan McDonnelly, thank you for uh, being the first 3D gadget. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Very nice. Actually, our first guest ever. Does that make me ever. the gadget or the desk the gadget? <laughs> both. <laughs> it is. Look, I can put my hand right through it. Look at no, that. Oh, they're just, both 3D. It's an amazing, amazing illusion, isn't it? Just like that. And you could do it without glasses. That is amazing. <laughs> I need a drink, though. I can I use a glass for that. Thank you, Dan. Thank I you I appreciate it. Why don't you leave that there sure, for a little certainly. bit? You could take this, though, if you okay. want. It's okay. I don't need that. <laughs> and, uh, and boy, Dick, nice job on surprising me with our first 3D guest. That was good. Oh, yeah. There was a, you know, Jam of B help. There's a ton of equipment that this involved. Well, I was amazed. Uh, I couldn't oh. figure out why they were setting up the 40 camera array. That was what yeah, puzzled me. Yeah, I know. And then someone had to open the door to let him in. It was a lot <laughs> of planning. A lot of planning. So who's that guy? He's setting up over on the Gizwiz set. I thought this was a one-man show. Do I have a yeah. game? Did Dick yeah. nominate a guest host for us? Yeah. All right. Is it time to play the... Oh, uh, yes. Oh, you know, yes, he says. To start playing our multiple themes. I, it's so complicated. I don't actually know which theme George goes... George first. George? Jason will lead you through it. <laughs> I'll number them and reset them yeah, to you. I, I got like to number one, these George things. So the uh, the so there's a Sky Mall theme, and then there's a Sky Mall straw poll theme. Right. You think I should just play the Sky Mall theme? Yep. All right, we'll just play the Sky Mall. Now, is that the old Sky Mall theme? No, that's the new one. Okay. Yep. I was smart enough to throw the you old one. You got it. Out. You got it right. All right. 
So, uh, unfortunately, though, there is no crap I got on Sky Mall, because as I explained at the beginning of the show, the gong is somewhere uh, on a boat from here, China to here. So, okay. Here we go. It's under your desk, it's, but that's okay. It's so loud, you can hear it even on the boat. Uh, but we'll, so we'll have it for next week. We probably. Hope. Yeah. We hope. <laughs> I'm, well, I by can... the time you come back from your three-week trip. Oh, Lord. I should. Somebody said you should have your own version of QVC. We could just sell this stuff because I'm going to have to like do that. something with it. So we've asked our viewers, as always, to email us at gizwiz at twit.tv and uh, suggest other Sky Mall gadgets for our next poll. Now, next week is the gong. The week after is the Seal Shield iPad uh, waterproof. Protector. Week, protector. But for some time late in 2013, we still need a gadget. <laughs> So, and we should have it by then. Here are the yeah. three choices. Our new, oh, well, no, but no, wait a minute. Before that, I should show the choices from last week or yet, or no. Which, oh, well, you should <laughs> you show, show the show winner from last yeah, week. The winner from last week. So confused. <laughs> okay, so last week we had questions of what should Leo review next? The USB cup warmer and four port hub, the box of uh, applause, or it could be box, <laughs> box of tears, I think. You get your choice. Or protein ketchup. That was straw poll number 2887. And boy, was it close. Oh, it is boy, close. Boy, was it close. Wow. But after uh, 400, 747 uh, votes, uh, the winner is the USB cup warmer and four port hub, which got 30. Wait a minute. New votes are coming in. People, Wait a minute. Stop voting. Stop it. 280 votes for the cup warmer, 269 votes for the box of applause, which was leading when we uh, went, went, went home last night, last week. And uh, 200 votes for protein ketchup. So I guess I'm going to get the USB cup warmer and four port hub for next week. Now, the following week, here are your three. Wait, we need the theme now, right, Jason? <sighs> Okay, this, this is now the Sky the Mall. The is Dan Luters. The Sky Mall it's, voting We're scene. at the straw poll moment. Straw poll. <laughs> so there you go. So here, now can I show the three things? Sure, let's do it. Yes. You've jumped through all of my hoops. You've earned it, Leo. <laughs> Why is this show so complicated? <laughs> well, you know, this is only our fourth week. Okay, we to, I'll we, get it we, down. We, uh, by week yeah. eight, I'll have it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. And nothing's come that's supposed to, so that, that, that makes it trickier. Right. So uh, item number one, the iPhone. And by the way, so I don't know who submitted these, but thank you. Uh, I'll have to go back and look through the emails. Maybe Jason could figure this yeah, out. Yeah, I'll look at it. The iPhone to TV karaoke player. This is the iPhone karaoke Ooh. player. This plays lyrics. It plays music on a television. The iPhone dock connects to a TV with the included component cable. And a free app provides access to, count them, five, count them, five songs. Including All You Need Is Love by The Beatles, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, and Cry Me a River by Ella Fitzgerald. I know how she feels. The included microphone transmits the singer's voice through the television speakers. And as the lyrics are displayed on the screen, each word is highlighted to prompt the user to sing at the appropriate time. Over 7,000 additional songs are available. It's $80, but you get five songs, and you can buy more later. Okay. Uh, the dock recharges the iPhone as it plays, works with the 4S, 4, 3GS, 3G, and iPod Touch. Plugs into the AC. Of course, it won't work with the new iPhone, so we better get it quick. <laughs> That's one. That's uh, Jim Garrison. Jim Garrison, thank you. That's a great suggestion. Here's another one. This is magic. The hovering picture frame. Ooh. The hovering picture frame. Now, look at that. I don't know. It's magic. Uh, this is the picture frame that displays two levitating photographs. Magnets inside mm. the acrylic photograph case and the three-sided frame create a magnetic field that suspends the photographs in midair. And it looks like disco lights in the background. <laughs> Blue, green, and red lights inside the frame cast a subtle glow. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> onto the picture. That's $70. 
Ooh, yeah. Okay. That's the hovering picture frame. Submitted by Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly. Wow. Thank you. I'm trying to think what else to... Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I put something wrong in here. We aren't going to do the iPhone to karaoke TV, but you have... All right, I'll add that. We'll have four items yeah, in the straw poll. Because I, I picked some other ones. I mean, let me add that one to the straw poll before I give you the straw poll information. This is... By the way, thank you, Dan Dirks. For, oh, you can't you can't edit this after the fact? Come on. You go back, maybe? Maybe there if you go. I go back. iPhone to TV karaoke player. All right. So uh, thank you, Dan Dirks. And I got the new one. You got the new number? All right. For uh, creating this straw poll for us because it's so much fun. So I so this is gonna have a this will be a four item. So we got the oh, karaoke, wow. the hovering picture frame, the Robo USB bladeless, how would that possibly work? Fan and light. And it looks like a robot with a little lit light up heart in the middle. Stay cool oh, it and style. It's tush. It's is that its tush or its tummy? Port oh, we'll have tummy. to order okay. it to find out. Yeah. Also, Kevin Kelly. Safe without blades exposed, no possibility to hurt people. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll find a way. And finally, the mo <laughs> ding 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 <laughs> the, ding 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 the mobile <laughs> massage system. This is a hundred bucks. It looks like a turtle shell that goes over your shoulders and back. Has a, a remote control that says you can massage it all the way with your. I should do this like uh, uh, Don Don Olson, Johnny Olson. You can massage it all away with your new magic vest that contours to your car seat, your car chair, or directly to your back. The magic vest is an easy, portable way to relieve stress due to daily pressures. It has four powerful motors that provide soothing relief to your shoulders and back. You'll experience new comfort with four different massage settings with heat sensors to accommodate any massage need. We need Carol Merrill to point at these while I talk. Handheld control gives maximum relaxation massage, pulse and vibration massage, or wave and tapping massage, so you can experience spa-like relaxation right in your own home. That does look like something I might have at the spa, doesn't it? Yeah. The mobile massage system. All right, here's our stroll. That was Paul Dixon. Thank you, Paul. What fresh crap... (laughs) <laughs> from Sky Mall, should Leo review next the mobile massage system, the Robo USB bladeless fan and light, the hovering picture frame of the iPhone to TV karaoke player, strawpoll.me slash 3074. Already the votes are pouring in, and it looks like the mobile massage system's in the lead, but as we've seen time and time again, well, last time anyway, you never know, <laughs> you never know who's going to win at the end of the straw poll. Who should we... De- I'll order... Now, we're going to wait a week. So now I'm ordering whatever it was the last time that won. Uh, I've already forgotten. I've put it out of my mind. Seal shield? No, it was, no. That was, <laughs> no, no, it was no. the USB. Protein oh, ketchup. Right, right. Oh, yeah, cup the cup warmer, cup warmer and, holder. <laughs> and holder. I'm going to have to get a laptop with more USB ports if we keep ordering this crap. All right, so there you go. And it looks like the massage... People really want yeah. me to wear that thing. I think that'd be good. I could wear it around town. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, Pretty the problem easily. is if you fall over, you can't get up. You're just like a turtle. You'll be on your back. <laughs> yeah, we did that with the uh, the, uh, the sumo suit. suit. I can barely get up. All right. Wow, Dick, you're in this monitor too. I don't understand. Oh, how did he? Whoa. Three D. Three D. Well, at least two dicks. So yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, I don't know which one to look at. Wow. <laughs> the big one. The big one. <laughs> oh, it's just the big dick. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so that's the voting. So I think there's but uh, uh, two things left to do in the show if I've kept track of the inventory properly. This is worse than the shop, being a shopkeeper. <laughs> now, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, bear with me for a moment. Because it's time to board our amphibious vehicle for a very special trip across the Hudson River, up the Verrazano Narrows Parkway, through the Garden State of New Jersey, back across the river, back into Manhattan, uptown to the beautiful, what's the name of it? Where? Uh, Sophia. Sophia. Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Sophia Gadget Warehouse. Ladies and gentlemen. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, 
He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Ah, uh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Dick DiBartolo. Yes, I know. He keeps. John says, "Don't forget your rubber band wristwatch." Okay, well, well, maybe we'll get to that later. You don't really. This show is already twice as long as it's supposed to be. Dick, what's in the warehouse? Today? Yes. Uh, okay, back to 1984, yes. and it's Sony's first portable CD player, oh. the D5. Now, I don't know if you had one of these, but. It was, they were kind of interesting. It was called a portable CD player. There's what it looks like. As a matter of fact, if you wow. love this, I found this on eBay. Now, this you isn't a Walkman, is it? What is it? No, no. It, it, it's a portable disc player, their yeah. first uh, disc player. So why this sold rather well was their home CD player was about 600 bucks. Wow. Then they came out with this, which was... 300 bucks so a lot of people bought this to use as their home player because strangely it's called the portable cd player but it only worked with the ac adapter <laughs> if, if, <clears throat> it's portable yes. if you carry it around the living room yes yeah. so if you have a very very long extension cord or <laughs> if you want to buy this and i didn't buy the the a, the battery adapter. Oh, you could get a, you could get a, a second adapt, a little thing that you you, you could to. buy an adapter that this slipped into and then ran on either four or six C batteries. And I remember reading in a review that it played for an hour. Oh, one CD Be almost. Right. Almost. Yes. yes, yes. And also, the other reason you probably didn't want to carry it around is because this was before they invented the buffering system. Oh, yeah. It skipped like crazy, I remember. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You so wouldn't play you it carrying could, around. You'd put it on a no, solid you, surface. Yeah. Exactly. You would tiptoe around, perhaps. Uh, but And it was called the, the portable CD player. It wasn't until subsequent models came out that they started calling them the disc man okay series. so that was not a disc man that was the it was not a disc man when it first disc came man. out that's so uh, so, funny. so so sony portable bucks. cd d5 i think it was actually the a5 either either i think it was the d5 but like if you want it you can get it for 100 bucks today it's still <clears> too much oh i know absolutely uh, or make an offer so. Yeah, yeah. Make an offer, any offer. Make an offer, yeah. <laughs> yeah it is the D5A. <laughs> wow. It's working. It's tested. It's, tested it's really and more, working. That's more of a, an historical artifact. That's not really. Absolutely. You know, like ourselves. Like us, yeah. I, yeah. I'm sure I bought that. I bought the first one. Oh, I, I definitely. It's, it's still somewhere in the warehouse. I just couldn't physically find it. Because I loved it because the cover was a circle and one quarter of the circle was a clear window. And back then, you could watch the disc whirl. I mean, that, that's how. It, <laughs> watch the disc whirl. See? You see the way the yeah, cover. Yeah, it's got a the, window. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was so fascinating to watch the disc whirl. Back in those days, you could hardly believe that music was coming out of that little disc. I love uh, I love Hawk's post in our chat room who says the Hawk's sales post is sitting right next to me. He is. He says yeah. the sales pitch is it sk it skips when you do. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very that's a great, it skips when you do. That works that's perfectly. A great yeah. slogan. Yeah. Great. I, it's funny, it's a strange coincidence, because as I'm leaving the gym this morning, I, there was a little kid with a t-shirt that said old school, or something like, I'm old school on it, and it had a picture of a Sony Walkman on the oh, t-shirt. And I had to think, <laughs> that six-year-old has no idea no, exactly. what he's exactly. wearing. In fact, I, la I went, oh, I had one of those, and he went... So uh, he didn't, he had no idea what I was talking about. Sure that wasn't Henry? <laughs> uh, what is that? What is that again? <laughs> All right, well... That's why we have the Gadget Warehouse, to teach the kids today how much they're missing they with all these exact. fancy Dan gadgets they've got today. There's three of us. We could be a chorus. Oh, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. a letter to that guy. 
Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just going to show you, Leo, how amazing Jamma B is because now, well, cut to the long shot, Jamma B. <clears throat> Jamma B is going to show the bear in just one of the two monitors. Wait a minute. Come how on, does he Jamma do that? B. Okay, he's Can cutting you... to the long shot. The bear. The bear is there. Uh, <laughs> okay. I guess he couldn't <laughs> I guess he couldn't do it. Wait a minute. What am I doing? <laughs> Jammer B's okay. in the other room. Yeah. I don't think he can help you anymore. Oh, that's okay. What, is okay. The, what was the oh. idea? You were going to freeze this monitor and then the bear would disappear? Uh, if I if I had thought of it earlier, yes. Good. Oh, oh, he, there we go. He fixed oh, there it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. He fixed, <laughs> it. he fixed it. He fixed it. Um, <laughs> okay. Our letter is from Dan Sermon. And uh, I love the Gizwiz podcast with Leo. Oh, not with me. Okay, yeah. obviously, I just love the. Uh, I love. Just I love better the with Leo. Podcast. Better with Leo than with Dick. Me. Yeah, that one. The ones with uh, Dick, I never listened to. No, it's my favorite podcast. I sent Leo an email, but I'm not sure if he got it or not. <laughs> I live in. Yeah, I know exactly. He doesn't get my email. I accidentally <clears> left I it on the Winnipeg. yacht. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Leo, care of Turning Basin Yacht. Yes. <clears throat> Someday I will live in that Turning Basin. May not be will. on a boat, but I will be living in yeah. that Turning oh, Basin. Oh, yeah. You're not borrowing my sea urn. Get your <laughs> own. Um, I live in Winnipeg, Canada. During the summer, people ride around on bicycle ice cream wagons. They ring a bell so the kids hear them coming. These bikes are called the Dickie D Ice Cream Vendors. What? At Wikipedia, if you go to Wikipedia slash Dickie underscore D, you can learn all about the Dickie D ice cream carts. Every time Leo calls you Dickie D, I chuckle because I think of the ice cream wagons. Anyway, I love the show, and I hope you got a chuckle out of this too, Dan Sermon. Well, Dan, that's very interesting. I, I think is it's, it D I C K I E D? E, yep, underscore D. Oh, okay. E See, I wasn't I wasn't spelling it right. D I C K I E underscore e, D E underscore E. Yep. All right. Let's see if I can find that on. Well, e. yeah, there it is. It's an I Canadian ice cream vendor. Oh, they're out of business. They ended in two thousand two. Yeah. And there is somebody with the Dixie. It's Dixie D. Oh, he has it wrong. Dixie D. Well, it was a long time ago. He probably was stoned on okay. ice cream. He oh, but they call Wait it a minute. Here's the yeah, Dickie D. The yeah. Here's the Dickie D. So that's confusing. Huh. Oh, maybe Dickie D went out of business and came back. At, maybe this is the new guy. Dixie D. Dickie D. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Good humor, man. Oh. What if I can get any money out of them? <laughs> <laughs> says, this article is an orphan. No other articles linked to it. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? We can make it, we can unmake it an orphan. If somebody would go in and edit the Daily Gizwiz web, uh, Wikipedia entry and add a link to the Dickie D ice cream card, the world will have been completed and we will, it will disappear in a puff of smoke. Wow. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and don't forget, this is the beginning of the new... What Ooh. the heck is it? Now, we got to go to gizwiz.biz because I'm dying to know what that Tupperware lid really was. So well, go you to, were close. Lots of, hundreds of people have said Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. So if you go to gizwiz.biz and click the what the heck is it contest, you'll see last, uh, the last episode, the July, August, what the heck is it? Was It looked like a Tupperware lid, but it turns out it wasn't. It was a lip. No, it's, it, <clears throat> yes, it's called Baker's Band... And it's made for different size casserole dishes, and you snap it on the casserole dish, and whatever you're cooking will not run over into the oven. And wonder of wonders, no one got it right. No, no one got it right, but we got great answers. You know, this just sort of uh, tells you what our audience is like. At least a dozen people said it's a toilet seat for people with square butts. <laughs> <laughs> a dozen people came up with that. At least, uh, yeah. So wow. we picked one at random. Uh, strip wow. down doggy door, portable window. Oh, I like uh, a portable window. Yeah, yeah, I like this one yeah, too. That's a professional useful. television newscaster practice frame. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Or that's how good. about <laughs> a lips a lip separator used by dental hygienists? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. really, really. A battery powered Dyson fan. 
could be that. A device to cut sandwiches so they'll be in the 16 by 9 ratio. <laughs> People are and clever. They're very creative. They're very clever. And, and Bill M., I, uh, Bill in Milwaukee said, when a person's been framed, this is what they get. Aww. So that's, Yeah, it's kind of funny. But in fact, it's even more useless than many of those solutions. It's a <laughs> lip you put around a pie so it doesn't the bubble over. Baker's band. The Baker's yes, band. Now, let's take a look at the fire hydrant. I'm sorry. Did I give it away? This week's, uh, this month's, what the oh, heck is it oh, game? Oh. What could that be? Yeah. Mm. Now, no I think we've learned now that there's only 12 Mad Magazines for the right answer. And there's up to 24 for the best silly answer. So that's really where the competition lies. Yes. Don't get the right answer. Make it up. Make it up. Yep. Dumb wins here. M84 says it's a designer fire hose nozzle. Send that in. That's a good one. Yeah, send it in. Too late now. All <laughs> right, so here's what you do. Go to gizwiz.biz and find out all the details, uh, all the rules, and your chance to win an autographed copy of the November-December issue of Mad Magazine. We don't yet know what that cover is going to be because... We do not. It is too far in advance. They're still planning it at the editorial meeting. Yes. Very, very exciting. Well, this has been fun. A real first here, our first 3D gadget dan mcdonnelly's ninja standing desk ninjastandingdesk.com we got the demo right here and by the way good news still standing good so, and that's on a black on a blackboard on a blackboard, blackboard that's impressive action. yeah impressive uh next week we will have another straw poll and maybe by then the gong will have arrived from china now, did you want to say what you were wearing well i don't you know there's not much to say we've already reviewed this many times but i i found oh, okay. this kind of i got it just recently this is from nike um uh, it's called the uh, fuel band and really it's like we, I've, I've reviewed the fitbit before remember that oh, and the yeah, up yeah. band okay. from jawbone this is nike's version of this 150 bucks get it from nike by oh. the way uh, because other people are charging too much. I need bucks. the money. <laughs> They're so desperate. A couple of things I like about it. Um, one is it has a USB charger right on it, right? So it, you just plug it oh. into your, and it, you get a couple of days, but I just charge it every night. Uh, and the other thing I really like about it, if you have an iPhone, all you have to do is press and hold the button on it, and it will say sync, and it will go out and find the iPhone via Bluetooth and synchronize up with it so that it automatically copies that off. And then, of course, if you go to Nike, they have a website, the Fuel Band website, where you can uh, see how you're doing it compared to other people. Do you have a Fuel Band? No, she has the Fitbit. Me? Well, yeah. I don't care if you have the Fitbit, but thank you. <laughs> We've been through the Fitbit. How many Fitbits did I end up losing? Four, five? This one at least is attached uh, to my wrist, um, which is nice. And, and uh, let me let me pull up the uh, website because because it's kind of cool. It it, it, it uh, I'll log into my uh, Nike Plus website because I can show you what it keeps track of. And the whole idea, you know, I have to say, it doesn't. It, you do yoga, right, uh, Dick? It, it's, yeah. It's it's not going to see your 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 yoga moves. It doesn't see my Pilates moves, but it does encourage me uh, by doing this. I'm just going to enter my password here. It does encourage me. Uh, to uh, to take the stairs more often, to walk farther, that kind of thing. Uh, oh, okay. Log in. Let me just do this right here. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of fun. I mean, it, it, apparently that's not my login. Yeah, because if you didn't have that, you would just be playing with the computer. Yeah, all the time. Right, exactly. And since I can't remember my password, it's kind of useless. But if I... <laughs> If I did, it also tracks, by the way, it tracks steps, calories, and then this thing it calls Nike Fuel. And you set a goal, like I have a goal of 3,000 points a day, which is more than steps. Uh, my current, currently on my goal, I am at 1,703. And, and then there's a little goal celebration when you hit your goal at the Aww. fireworks go up. You know what? It's also a decent wristwatch, believe it or not. You can set it for time, and it just shows the time when you press the button. That's not so bad. Um, 
it's a, it's a it's a motivator to keep you exercising, to keeping you getting exercise, much like the Fitbit was. Uh, the Up Band, which is no longer available for sale, although I imagine they'll come back at some point. Uh, and because okay. it's Nike, it works like a Nike Plus. If you have an iPhone, you can sync it up with that. Anyway, I, li- I like it. It's it's a pedometer basically, and you know it works best if you run or walk as your form of exercise. Works less well if you do things like yoga and Pilates because you're not doing this. You're not waving your arm around all the time. Mm. But I do notice if I wave my arm a lot, I get great mileage. Yes, John. Yeah, I had the D5, and I had the battery pack that goes with it, and I shared some photos of that with Leah, with uh, Jason. That he can so do. John Jammer Beast Lenina oh, actually has, has so the case, that Leo. Sony D5, and there's the fo- the charger, the battery that, charger. That's so you can carry it. That's so you can carry it. Isn't that attractive? <laughs> wow. John, do you actually still carry that around? Yeah. Yeah, wow, he has it. Look, there's the there's the battery pack. <laughs> oh, and, then, oh and he's God. rocking out. <laughs> Who is that? Is that you? Hey, hey, John, do you have the other uh, accessory where it let it added RCA jacks, so yes. then you could plug it into your stereo? I do. Yes. Wow. So, what did you spend for all this stuff? Oh, hundreds of dollars. Hundreds. <laughs> Five hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Five. Five hundred dollars. Wow. Wow. That but you were happy for a month. Right? <laughs> I mean, how long before you went okay? Also, I yeah. got the uh gooseneck adapter for your car. He says he has the gooseneck adapter so for the car. In your car. <laughs> He's a super fan. You really you really <laughs> like this device, I must say. Yeah. Well, I tell you, he is in the right job, I'll tell you that. He's a he's a big geek, yeah. Basically. Oh. oh, there he is. There's John in the simu- wow. si- simulated dancing. Back. Nice. Nice, isn't that? When he rocks, the whole place moves. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mom, who also has one of these uh, Nike fuel bands, says, show your Facebook friends because I'm kicking your butt in the Nike <laughs> fuel band. That's because her form of exercise. Here we go. Here's the, uh, here's the totals. Her form of exercise is boxing. Mine is Pilates. I don't get I don't get the value of it. But they show you things like how your activity's been. It's you know, it's a good motivator. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, I've earned nineteen thousand and then I didn't I you know, yesterday and the day before for some reason, it didn't register many, many steps. Uh, you know, every day is the same for me, so I don't know why. But anyway You that, know what? What? Ozzy's collar. Ozzy's collar. If I just put this on Ozzy Exactly. He'd beat everybody. You'll probably hit your goal about every other hour. Because that dog is running He's just everywhere. running around. I'll just put this, attach yeah. this to Ozzy. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. Um, anyway, there you go. That's the, uh, and that's a suitable picture of me. That's the before <laughs> picture sitting on my ball with a Nike fuel band. And yes, it counts running to the fridge, Sybil. Sybil wants to know. That. Yes, it counts that. In fact, you get more points for that than an hour of Pilates. I just saying. Go figure. Go figure. Mr. Dicty Bartolo, hard yes, to sir. believe that we have run out of time. But in fact, we have. Thank so, goodness. Thank God the show is finally over because you've been multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> soon there'll be another one and then I won't know what to do. We'll be, we're in <laughs> trio. Soon we'll be a quartet. Uh, Dick does stop by for the Giz Whiz Fizz uh, Saturdays after the radio show. You still want to do that this Saturday? Oh, yeah. We're having a great time. I love what one of the things Dick's doing is he's interviewing uh, somebody from the chat room. And Kevin Dublin last week, and he's, uh, the week before he said, Dick, I, I can't be on camera. I'll, uh, you can talk to me, but I can't be on camera. So last week he finally said, okay, I'll be on camera. And now I think he has a Facebook page and he has fans. <laughs> and I said, I said, Kevin, you were great. And he sent me a, a form email. Dick, don't annoy me. I have too many people trying to get me. It's <laughs> great. It's really no, no, great. It was, it was yeah, really great yeah, fun. Yeah. Well, I, I love doing it. And there will be another uh, person from the chat room highlighted, I'm sure, this Saturday, right after the radio show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that's 2100 UTC on uh, twit.tv. You can watch live. We don't, it's not a, don't, don't start asking me for a podcast. It's not a podcast. It's just, no, you have to no, watch no, live it's or it's over. You're done. If you want to put it on your YouTube site, you, you be my guest, but uh, we don't. Uh, no, it's not it's a show. It's just for fun. It's not a show. It's yeah, just, it's not, it's, a show. Uh, not, not, uh, not for, uh, not for public consumption, just for people who have. Uh, am I joining you tomorrow, by the way? Sure. On- for what? Uh, Nicole said I, I might be on Strangulation. Oh, Strangulation, our favorite show. Yes. 
Yes, that's a, that's a show where I take a guest, I take them by the neck, <laughs> and I shake. <laughs> Yeah, or maybe I don't know. We've been we've been saying we should get Dick on triangulation. So oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. If I think was... she's waiting to see if anybody else is available. Oh, if anybody good comes along. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll just be standing by. Okay, <laughs> and then it'll be you. Hey, okay. Dickie D. No, we, I'm actually. I think the whole world wants to know your story, and uh, and in fact, he has a great book called Good Days and Mad that uh, I really enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, I, there's a lot to tell. So that's good. Hey, thank you, Dick. Okay, we'll, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow on Strangulation. I'll be there. <laughs> Bye-bye.